Hi again, it's Rob here. Hope you're all having a good day or evening. And I'm going to do a uh, brief review of some of the cigars that I covered and also some cigars that I got in my sampler pack that uh, I thought were really bad and not interested at all. So now let's start with this. This is the La Gloria Cubana Series 3. Series R, sorry. A very dark wrapper. Now, I wasn't crazy about it when I first started, when I first lit it up. But I decided, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running low on cigars. So I decided to, uh, you know, it was one of the ones that I figured it might be okay. So I lit it up. It's not bad. It's okay. Now, it's not my favorite cigar. My favorite cigar, and I'll be ordering a box of these, is the uh, Don Mateo. The heck is it? The Don Mateo, right here. The Maduro wrapper. It's a 54 ring gauge, 6.5 inch. I'll be ordering the longer one if possible, if I can find it. My favorite cigar. I mean, this Don Mateo tastes like a $15 cigar, $20 cigar, but you can get them for dirt cheap online, especially now. The online retailers are, just go to them and check out Don Mateo, and you buy a box of these, you can get them dirt cheap of 25 of them. So I'll be ordering that. And the nice thing for if you guys don't know the nice thing is you get you always get a nice nice box like this is a beautiful macanudo box toro and you open it up it's 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 got a nice cedar smell to it it's cedar inside cedar inside and oh this, it smells like a chessboard you know i love chess i always used to play chess with my dad and it smells like a cedar chessboard i love it um not all boxes are this nice, though. This is one of the nicer ones. Of course, it's Macanudo, so the Macanudo, which is a top cigar, is going to have a top box. But, you know, when you order, you're not always going to get a great great box. But still, it's great to have a box. And I, I use this as a humidor. You know, to use this as a humidor, what I do is I just put a, like, in the summer, you don't need a humidor because it's so humid out. But for the winter and stuff, what I'll do is I'll put a... Uh, just a little piece of like a little sponge in here just just wet the sponge up and just keep make sure the sponge is always wet and it'll keep your cigars nice and humid oops I almost hit my finger on that so what I said is the Gloria Cubana not bad not bad R series okay now I, I mean sorry Don Mateo my favorite cigar alright now the other thing I want to say is this um, I have a correction on this uh, Oliva premium let's see master blend series 3 it's the nice box shaped design it's got a, a torpedo end I mentioned that the draw is very hard on this all you got to do is bite down really hard on the end it'll free up the cigar It'll free up the cigar like, like, like nothing. So that's all you gotta do, and it'll light a lot easier too. If the cigar is having trouble lighting, it's because uh, it's packed too tightly, and you gotta, you gotta chew down the end of it, and you, you know, you gotta basically just press down on the cigar because it's too tight, and that'll that'll free it up. Amazing, amazing trick. But you guys might know that. Anyway, so that's it. Let's see what else I want to say. Um, the Rocky Patel Ocean Club is a, is not so bad. It's it's a basic cigar. It's very smooth, very light. It's like the lightest cigar I've ever I ever smoked. It's not horrible. So, you know, but I'm not gonna order it again. But Anyway, um, so let's see what else. Uh, 
I want to just mention briefly the, the cigars I thought were a waste, a waste of money, and the ones I don't like. And those are the following. There's only a few of them, actually. Um, uh, one called La Corona Anniversary. I don't like that one. But the other one I don't like is the Argyle. To me, the Argyle was really didn't have much flavor at all. Argyle Churchill. It's called the Argyle Banquet. Uh, I have a Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. I don't really like it, but they included it with the order. I never really cared for Romeo and Juliet. The other one is Monte Cristo. Uh, Monte Cristo, the quality has gone down a lot in, in the last couple of years. It, I smoked one la like five years ago, ten, five, ten years ago. Now. They were decent. They are really good, but the quality has gone down. And the other one, which was nothing, nothing good, was Kane. Uh, it's Kane. It's by Oliva, which was a, I was surprised. Um, but it's 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 called Straight Ligero. It's really really wasn't good at all. So stay away from those. And uh, that's it. So hope you have uh, hope you are all having a good day and a good cigar day. So. I just want to say peace, two fingers, and I'm out. And I hope you have a good cigar day. I hope we all have a great cigar day. Take care.